Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. Come on India.com is our website. In GS Paper 3, we have Science and Technology as a syllabus. In Science and Technology, we have Cyber Security, Biotechnology, Nanotechnology, Basic Awareness in the field of IT, Computers and Contribution of the Indian Scientist to the Development of the Science and Technology in India. These are the important topics mentioned in the syllabus. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about biotechnology. What is biotechnology and what are all the various types of the biotechnology and what are all the important applications of the biotechnology in our day-to-day -day life. Biotechnology plays a very crucial, crucial role in saving lakhs of life the application of the biotechnology is tremendous. Let's discuss each and every point one by one. First, let's discuss what is biotechnology. Bio means life. Technology means the technical evolution. So, applying the technology on the life to convert the life which is useful to the human beings. So, biotechnology means it is the application of the science and engineering in the direct or indirect use of the living organisms or its part or products in their natural or modified form. So, we are using the living organism or part of the living organism or the product of the living organism in the natural form or modified form in the application of the welfare of the human beings. For example, you know what is insulin and what is insulin deficiency. Because of the insulin deficiency, the condition called diabetes occurs and patient with the diabetes used to take insulin injection on daily basis. But without using biotechnology, it is difficult to produce the required quantity of the insulin. So scientists started using the biotechnology mechanisms to produce the insulin in the sufficient quantities. It is one of the important application of the biotechnology. And also you should know one concept called as GMO. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism. If you read the newspaper often, the terms genetically modified mosquito or genetically modified mustard that is coming in the news, many international NGOs and environmental groups are opposing the introduction of the genetically modified life. Google has recently undertaken a project. It introduced genetically modified male mosquitoes, male Aedes mosquitoes and this mosquito when mates with the naturally occurring female mosquitoes then eggs will not be formed. So, so the population of the Aedes aegypti mosquito can be controlled and Already we provided a separate video on the Aedes aegypti mosquito. It is the mosquito responsible for spreading the important viral diseases like Dengue, Chikungunya, Yellow Fever and the most recent fever is Zika virus disease. In Zika virus we discussed two important conditions. One is Cullian Barry syndrome and another one is occurrence of the microcephaly condition in the newborn babies. When mother, pregnant mother, gets infected with the Zika virus means the baby when gets birth develops a condition called microcephaly. Micro means small head. So, baby bonds with the small head in the Zika virus infection when occurs in the pregnant woman. Indian government is planning to introduce 
genetically modified mustard and formed a committee to assess the pros and cons of introducing the genetically modified mustard. Many environmental organizations are opposing the introduction of genetically modified mustard. So genetically modified organism means it may be a plant, it may be animal or it may be bacterium. It is a genetically modified by using any biotechnology method. It may be conventional breeding or cross breeding or cell fusion. So in biotechnology there are many methods are there. There is no need to discuss about each and every method one by one. So for civil services examination, you should know what is biotechnology and how biotechnology is working and what are all the various applications of biotechnology in our day to day life. These points will be sufficient. One concept is called genetically engineered organism. Example is recombinant DNA technology in that the techniques are used for directly transferring or removing the genes in a particular organism. Then the organism becomes genetically engineered organism. So in the genetically engineered organism, genes are directly transferred or removed from a particular organism. Now we will discuss about various types of the biotechnology. Biotechnology is broadly divided into five types. One is red biotechnology, second is blue biotechnology and third is grey biotechnology, fourth is green biotechnology and the final type is white biotechnology. Red biotechnology means the biotechnology application related to the field of medicine. Then this type of biotechnology is called as red biotechnology. So simply red biotechnology is related to the field of medicine. For example, it includes producing the vaccines, producing the antibiotics by using the biotechnology methods and also developing the new drugs, creating the new molecular diagnostic techniques. The important examples for the Red biotechnology is cell therapy, regenerative medicine, gene therapy and the medicines which are based on the biological molecules. So please remember the important examples for the red biotechnology. They are cell therapy, regenerative medicine, gene therapy. Now we will discuss about second type of biotechnology that is blue biotechnology. It is based on the exploitation of the sea resources to create new products and applications for the industrial use. So blue means it indicates ocean or sea. So blue biotechnology means using the naturally available resources in the ocean or sea, we can create products and applications of the industrial interest. In the ocean, there's a diverse products are available. Example is polymetallic nodules. Government of India is in the process of exploiting the resources in the ocean bed and we are searching for the polymetallic nodules. About polymetallic nodules, we provided a separate video lecture. Visit our website commonindia.com to get this video lecture. Red biotechnology that is related to medicine is well developed, whereas blue biotechnology is in the nascent stage. Nascent stage means it is in the initial stage of development. It will take many years before it is getting fully developed. Third type of biotechnology that we are going to discuss is about grey biotechnology. Grey biotechnology is related to environment. So 
Gray Biotechnology includes all the biotechnology applications which are directly related to environment. The important applications of the Gray Biotechnology includes cloning technique can be applied to preserve the species. Some species are classified as critically endangered species. Their number is in only in hundreds and for that we can apply the cloning technique to multiply the number of critically endangered species. It is one of the application. Second application is genome storage technologies. Genome storage technology means that we can get the genome of extinct species or critically endangered species that there has high chances of becoming extinct. We can collect the genome. Genome means complete set of genes. We have 46 chromosomes. So collecting all the genome and by using the biotechnology method, we can store the genome and later by using the genome, we can produce a new species. Another important application of the biotechnology in the environment is bioremediation. Bioremediation means cleaning the pollutants from the environment. Take oil spill as an example. Most of the oil are transported via sea. While transporting, sometimes ships collide with each other or with the rock and oil spill occurs. It causes depletion of the oxygen in the ocean and which leads to the death of fishes and other animals. So we need to clean the oil spill as soon as possible for that various biotechnology methods can be very useful. So cleaning the pollutants from the environment is called as bioremediation. We provided a separate video on the bioremediation in our environment and ecology video lectures. Now we will discuss about fourth type of the biotechnology that is green biotechnology. Green biotechnology is nothing but using the genetically altered plants and animals to produce the environmentally friendly farming solutions. So green biotechnology is related to farming solutions which are environment friendly. So it is considered as alternative to the traditional agriculture, horticulture and animal breeding practice. So we need to undertake farming practices which are environmentally friendly in nature. Example for the green biotechnology is creation and designing of the transgenic plants. Transgenic plants means the traditional plant may be susceptible to the pest and diseases. Here we are altering the gene of the plant then it becomes transgenic plant. So this transgenic plant is having the improved flavor and it shows increased resistance to the pest and diseases. And the transgenic plants may have increased growth in the adverse weather conditions. It can withstand the adverse weather conditions and grow well in these conditions. Other applications of the green biotechnology is creating the new plant varieties and also producing the biofertilizers and biopesticides. If you have studied about green revolution in GS paper 3, you might have come across the various drawbacks of the green revolution. Increased use of the chemical fertilizers and pesticides leads to the poisoning of the soil and soil lost its fertility and salinity of the soil also increased. These problems are mainly faced in the states of Punjab and Haryana. So we need to go for the biofertilizers and biopesticides which are environmentally friendly in nature. Another important application of the biotechnology is development of the golden rice. It is one of the important points for the prelims examination every year. 
So golden rice is nothing but a rice variety that are also rich in the vitamin A. In India, many children are suffering from vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A is rich in carrot, beetroot and other varieties. But in poor families, it is very difficult for them to get access to vitamin A rich resources. So what scientists have done means by using the biotechnology, they altered the gene of the rice and introduced the, some genes so that vitamin A can be produced naturally in the rice. Rice is the common item, it is cheaper and is available to the below poverty line families in the ration shops at affordable price. So it will act as a good source of vitamin A for the poor children. Now we will discuss about fifth type of biotechnology that is white biotechnology. White biotechnology is related to industrial processes. So all the biotechnology applications which are related to industrial process is called as white biotechnology. That is why white biotechnology is also called as industrial biotechnology. By using the industrial biotechnology, we can design a processes which consumes less resources and the process which are more energy efficient less polluting than traditional methods. So we need to use the industrial biotechnology that gives products which are environmental friendly in nature. For example, producing the biofuels. So this is the part one of the biotechnology topic video lecture and go for the topic two or part two of the video lecture series on the biotechnology for mechanism and various applications of the biotechnology. Thank you for watching this video lecture and all the best for your exam preparation. Thank you.